everyone, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This reading is for all signs and all placements for the next 72 hours. So let's jump straight into it with an oracle card message for all the signs and all the placements. For the next 72 hours, Spirit, what do you have for all the signs of the zodiac? And all placements for the next 72 hours. Keep in mind, this could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it is intended for the next 72 hours. This will not resonate 100% for everyone. It is a general reading. So throw away what does not resonate for you. And feel free to reverse the roles whenever and however you see fit. There's no gender in tarot. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. All right, what do you have for the collective for the next 72 hours, Spirit? What do you have for the collective? All signs of the zodiac and all placements for the next 72 hours, Spirit. What does the collective need to know for the next 72 hours? Mirror, treat your body like the palace it is, number four. Nice. And we have lavender, surround yourself with love, number 19. You could look up those angel numbers or you could break 19 down to a 10 and look up that angel number. All right, so let's start with the tarot. For all 12 signs of the zodiac and all placements for the next 72 hours here. What do you have for the collective for the next 72 hours? What do they need to know? This seems like a self-love reading, but also allowing yourself to... Accept love. When you give yourself self-love, you open yourself up to receiving love as well. Which is the first message I just got for some reason. Oh, and I see the Ace of Cups. I get that some of you could be really guarded around this time. But again, if you allow yourself to love yourself, you open yourself up to others valuing you the same way. All right, what do you have for the collective for the next 72 hours, Spirit? What do you have for the collective? Whoa. We have the Six of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I thought this was in the camera. Move it over. What else do you have for the collective? We have Death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio or have it strongly in your chart somewhere. What else? Okay. Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What else do you have for the collective? Okay, everything just wants to come out. The Hermit, Virgo. Virgo could be involved in some way. And one more. Okay. <laughs> and then we have the Devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn or someone could have it strongly in their chart. Overall energy, the Page of Swords, more air energy. So I'm seeing this as a major shift and change on a spiritual level. Again, with the self-love and self-worth, your inner world reflects your outer world and vice versa. Sorry for that noise. My chair is loud. But with the Six of Swords leaving you out as the first card, that's you moving to calmer waters after being tied up in a situation. You could have felt stuck in a situation or someone could have been stubborn or you could have felt stubborn. I don't know why the word stubborn is like, I'm hearing that very strongly. So something about a situation could have been stubborn. Someone could have been stubborn or it could have been a stubborn situation that you just didn't want to let go of or someone didn't want to let go of. It's like someone wanted to make a point in a situation. They didn't want to let go until it was addressed and recognized and resolved. It's like someone wanted to make a point and they were very stubborn. I don't know why I keep wanting to say that. But with the Six of Swords, some way, somehow, you or someone else or a group of people found a way to move to common waters and let a situation go, whether it was together or on your own. Someone here found a way to let this situation go and move to calmer waters. And with the Death card, there was a major shift and change on a soul level. Maybe it could have just been within you as well as within a group. Something drastically changed that allowed you to let go of a stubborn situation. I definitely think it's an aspect of yourself as well as that person. But there was a major shift and change in a situation that allowed a situation to move to common waters. It could have been some type of argument with a friend or family member, coworker, lover, whomever, that both of you were like very stubborn. You were some Taurus 
energy at that time. No shade in any Taurus, okay, of course. No shade in any sign. But, like, it was some stubborn energy, some stuck energy. You two were butting heads, and it just, like, you were both standing your ground because you both wanted to be heard. But she realized you got to hear each other. In some way, you came to some common ground, I feel like. But if it wasn't both of you together, someone here was able to let it go, whether it was with this person or group of people or not. There was a major shift and change within you personally, and you were allowed to let this go. And with the Five of Pentacles, there is an aspect of feeling left out in the cold in your decision, in your situation. In the Hermit, it was an inner decision, an inner change. It's like you did some deep introspection, some deep inner work, shadow work, and then the devil. So you worked on some type of fear, addiction, or enslavement, or codependency, whatever was toxic within you. It's like a lot of times, I think within that situation that you were having with someone or something or some place, you were trying to fix the situation that was outside of you, whether it was to fix the person or the people or the work situation, the dynamic, physically, you were trying to change it. But nine times out of 10, you got to change something within yourself, not saying that you're the problem, but you got to focus on what you can actually change because we can't control people. And the only thing you can change about a situation is yourself. So you worked on what part of you could you fix so that this situation isn't toxic or draining for you. And you found a way to let it go and let it not bother you. You may have felt alone at the time or left out in the cold in whatever situation this is. But you found a way to uplift yourself and praise yourself and surround yourself with love. Because when you love yourself, you draw that same love towards you, that same self-respect and love towards you. And with the Hermit card, you found your own way. You did the inner work. You did it alone. And no one can take that away from you. When you learn from a situation and you go through something alone, all the value and strength and everything you learn from it can't be taken away from you. That's a, that's a lesson you'll take with you for a lifetime. I think those are the best lessons, honestly. There's no other outside interference with it. It's just you alone in your perspective. This Hermit card for me is very strong with you with whomever's watching this whether you're a Virgo or not it's like you went it alone whatever major shift and change or spiritual up leveling or spiritual awakening it's like you went through a big shift and you gained more independence and self-worth and self-love and you were able to see the toxicness in a situation because I'm seeing the hermit as shining a light on this like stuck situation this is more stubborn energy with the mermaid being trapped Ooh. Did not mean to throw it like that. <laughs> With the mermaid being trapped in the cage. You may have felt that way. You may have tossed this right to the side once you shine that lantern on what it is. You found your way through to a situation. And with the overall energy being the page of swords, which is someone, you know, studying, spying. Or you could have a air sign child involved. Or someone here could just be taking on this energy of a youthful air sign. But with the um, Page of Swords, is someone either speaking their truth, being blunt, or just clear about what it is. And also studying a situation you're a student at this time, whether that's you analyzing you as well as others. I'm saying it is both. Analyzing yourself in a situation. And then with the Sun card underneath it, which is Illumination. So shining light on you and what's going on within you as well as this situation. I guess to get overall, you've gained enlightenment that allowed you to let go of a person, place, thing, or habit, or pattern within you and outside of you. Let's get the clarifications. I've been talking for eight minutes straight with no clarifications. I do apologize. But the story, it's like, the story just came out so strongly. Let's get those clarifications, though. For the collective, all signs and all placements for the next 72 hours, Spirit. What do you have for my collective? All signs and all placements for the next 72 hours. All right, let's clarify the six of swords. Oh, wow, the sun. Definitely illumination. Clarify the Six of Swords, please, Spirit. Oh my gosh. Ace of Cups. I keep flipping and dropping cards. Of course, 
growth and healing isn't linear. We all like to think we're going to go from zero to a hundred in every situation, but that's not the case. It's a zigzag. Sometimes we fall back and shoot forward and fall back. And I'm thinking that's why the cards keep flipping and turning. You know, that's how healing is. But with this ace of cups, it's like you let go of a situation because you found love, whether it's self love or someone offering this to you, or you offering it to someone. The ace of cups is an, a love offer, empathy. It can also be self-love and it's an ace, which is a new beginning that allows you to let it go or because you let go of something and move to calmer waters, you were allowed this new beginning. Clarify the six of sword, five of pentacles. So I'm getting that a lot of you did this alone and I definitely feel this. Like I've had to go through cycles alone multiple times. We do have the five of pentacles here. So this is either something you've done multiple times with this specific group of people in person or if you've just gone through a similar situation multiple times i've had to go through situations where i've picked myself up and had to love myself multiple times and again those are some situations that are so vital and so important and i'm so grateful for because no one can take that away from you clarify the death card wow oh my gosh then we had the five of wands, um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So something changed about some conflict or competition. Could have been between friends or family. I feel like it's like a camaraderie type of situation. Whether that's friends or family, there was some type of conflict or competition in a situation. It could also be love. But something changed about that. It went from you against them to just love. And with the star Aquarius energy, there was hope and healing in the situation. So either you had to take time away from this to heal the situation or heal yourself. Clarify the five of, okay, the hanged woman. The hanged woman, which is the hanged man, is all about seeing things from both sides of a situation and gaining enlightenment and also taking a temporary pause. I'm seeing that as all three in this reading. I'm seeing it as you had to separate from a situation, person, place, or thing, whatever it is for you, to gain enlightenment and see things from all sides. Instead of competing in the conflict, you against me or you against them, someone here had to take time alone and see things from a, a wider perspective. And we have three fives here. We have the five of pentacles twice and then the five of wands. So you may be seeing a lot of fives, but fives are major shifts and changes in life. And again, I'm seeing the death card in Hermit. So that's major inner spiritual up-leveling and changing. And with the devil, it's like clearing away of all things toxic, the shift and change and removal of all things toxic. Clarify the five of pentacles. And I'm seeing that as within you and whatever your inner world reflects, your outer world will reflect and vice versa. And we have the tower card. So another card of illumination, clarity, and the clearing away of weak foundations. That's what the tower is, clearing away of weak foundations. And when that happens, sometimes it clears away people we've depended on or jobs or places or things that we've depended on and relied on for a long time or we believed in. And without those solid, quote unquote, solid foundations we thought we had, we kind of feel alone in the world and not knowing our, not sure of our footing and our next step. But with the tower, it's the, it's clarity after the storm. After everything falls, you see things clearly. There's no obstacles in your way. And you have that light shining through, that independence of yours going forward on your own and being your own guiding light and not depending on anyone else to get you there. Clarify the hermit. I hope that made sense. I feel like I was rambling. I'm so sorry. The devil again. Okay, so we have the five of pentacles again and then the devil again. So whenever I do a reading and cards show up multiple times, the energy is amplified. So someone here, maybe you feel like you always need to be in a relationship or you always need some type of approval or something. I feel like someone here that energy of feeling left out in the cold, whether that's just emotionally, physically, or financially, it's like someone here is codependent on someone or something. I'm getting that with this situation, someone's having to learn the hard lesson of being alone. Someone who always has friends around them or always has family to support them or always in a relationship. Someone is learning the value of being alone, being by themselves. Clarify the hermit. Ten of Cups. Yes. You're realizing that in order to properly get your Ten of Cups, 
or to get love or receive love, you first have to give it to yourself. Someone here is codependent on others loving them before they love themselves. So it's time to implement some self-love here. And I know no one wants to hear that. It's like, no, I want someone else to fix me. I want someone else to love me. And I know this is going to be a harsh message for a lot of people who don't want to hear it. Because I've been through this cycle myself multiple times. Whenever someone would tell me this, I would always like n hate them. <laughs> Basically, I'd be so mad at them. So I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments. But I'm definitely getting that this reading is overall after going through multiple toxic or failed friendships or relationships. Someone's repeatedly learning that you have to be okay standing on your own two feet and loving yourself first before you can properly love someone else with this 10 of cups. And this can also be a Virgo and a Capricorn coming together with this 10 of cups as well and changing the dynamic of their situation and the toxic codependency in the relationship as well. But this, again, this is a general reading. So take it how it resonates for you. Clarify the devil, please, spirit. Judgment. So yeah, this is definitely whatever it is for you. It's a situation that you've dealt with multiple times. And then when I held up the judgment, I saw one, five, five, five. So again, major shifts and changes within yourself as well as this dynamic and situations, all dynamics really. Clarify the, sheesh. We have the hermit again. So we have two hermits, two devils, and two five of pentacles. So that energy of you, 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 focusing on you, going within, seeking inner guidance. And we have the Empress here, which is air energy and earth energy. This is Mother Earth, all the queens of the tarot. You know, she's abundant, she's fertile, and she's attracting things. And with this type of energy, if you or someone you're dealing with, however this resonates for you, is very attractive at this time, they're vibing high, life's great, you're going to attract all types of people, good and bad. Sometimes you just got to learn how to discern from who's good for you and who isn't. Because with the Empress, she's going to attract all types of people, especially, you know, you want this Ten of Cups. So I'm getting that once you call a judgment on a toxic situation or a situation with the Capricorn, I'm seeing it as a toxic situation though. Someone here either did call a judgment on something with someone or within themselves. Someone called a judgment on a toxic situation and they had to do a self-evaluation of why they keep getting involved with people, places, or things like this. And they're realizing their worth. This person could be a Gemini, Libra, or Virgo, but definitely seeing this as Earth energy, Mother Earth. Like, yes, you are attracting your Ten of Cups. It's right beside you. It's coming. I think that's going to be your clarity, honestly, with this Tower moment. It's going to be a realization of who or what your Ten of Cups is, but it's going to be while you're going through this transformative period of being alone and focusing on you and self-love. You're gonna be so focused on filling your own cup with this Ace of Cups, like letting go of other stuff and refilling your own cup, that you won't even notice that this Tower moment is gonna bring like the Ten of Cups to you. And it's gonna be while you're loving yourself is what I'm getting for you guys. And that is your reading for the next 72 hours for all signs and all placements. And if it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And my email will be in the description box below, uh, below if you want to book a personal reading with me. My email is goddesspufftarot at gmail.com. And I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.